Cities, pinnacles of human ingenuity. Densely packed settlements that maximize the use of space. Half the world's population now lives in urban areas, and the proportion is still growing. There is mounting pressure on our cities. Facing the threat of resource depletion and facing an increasingly volatile climate, a mindset change in the way we construct and manage our urban habitat is essential. Hong Kong. To accommodate 7 million people in a mere 1,100 square kilometers of hilly terrain is not a simple task. We rose to that challenge some 60 years ago, rising like the phoenix out of a tragic blaze in 1953. These H shaped Mark I blocks were purposely built for resettlement and there were rooftop schools and flatted factories nearby. But a swelling population of immigrants and more births prompted our blocks to grow taller, and natural ventilation and daylight were captured in the designs. A time before sustainability became a popular term. Now about one third of Hong Kong's population live in public rental housing. The estate's design has evolved from one that pursues spatial efficiency to one that promotes people's well-being. In order to meet our present needs without compromising the benefit of our future generation. Each public housing project requires rigorous planning. In 1999, the Housing Authority pioneered its own environmental initiatives. Headed by the Director of Housing, the Housing Department Environmental Health and Safety Committee was set up to establish and oversee environmental policies that ensure the planning, construction and management of public rental housing adhere to our green targets and initiatives. We aim to provide quality homes that are both eco-friendly and people-oriented and to achieve sustainability in three spheres, environmental, social and economic. Since 2004, the microclimate conditions of all sites are studied before commencement of the public housing projects. A green design is developed to optimize the use of natural ventilation, wind and daylight, and to avoid too much heat being absorbed by residential units. This saves energy and enhances the comfort of residents. The effectiveness of our microclimate studies is confirmed by on-site validation. The airflow is also investigated. In order to minimize the potential impact brought by our proposed buildings on the neighborhood and to perfect the eco-design. In the early design stage, we seek to use building materials that are most economical and have minimal impact on the environment throughout their life cycle. In 2011, we pioneered the carbon emission estimation model to estimate the amount of carbon emissions from our buildings. To reduce our carbon footprint, our building structures are now designed for a 100-year lifespan. Our environmental and energy management are certified to ISO 14001 and ISO 50001 standards. We also require our contractors to fulfill these international standards when constructing our estates. Modular designs have become key features of public housing design since the 1990s. Components can be precast and prefabricated in a controlled environment in the precasting yards. This reduces construction activities on sites, meaning a cleaner and safer construction process. And the quality of the buildings is also assured. Our green building materials, to mention but a few, include 
timber from sustainable forests, recycle marine mud, and recycle glass for eco-paving blocks, and ground granulated blast furnace slag, a steel industry byproduct, to partially replace cement in precast concrete to cut carbon dioxide emissions. All of our new housing blocks comply with the Hong Kong Building Energy Codes. The two-level lighting control system installed in common areas inside the blocks lets users in need adjust lighting levels to avoid unnecessary energy consumption. We also use renewable energy such as solar power and wind power. In our commercial premises, our hybrid ventilation system can help reduce air conditioning usage by combining the use of natural and mechanical ventilation. We also harvest rainwater and collect condensate from air conditioning systems for irrigation. In our drainage system, we learn from the SARS experience and develop the common W-trap system, ensuring the proper function of water seal in the trap to provide a hygienic drainage system. Our award-winning twin tank system on rooftops is also worth mentioning. This system ensures uninterrupted water supply during cleansing of water tanks, providing convenience to residents and saving water. We also provide water-efficient shower heads and water taps in all new housing projects. Under each building, refuse compactors can compact waste hygienically, reduce its volume and hence the transportation load. To mitigate traffic noise, we've installed noise barriers at sites that are close to main roads. To draw our residents closer to nature, we target to devote 30% of the area of each estate to green space in various forms and landscapes. Greening helps alleviate the urban heat island effect and makes the environment pleasant for our residents. We're also trying to conserve and promote biodiversity. In recognition of our endeavors, we achieved the Beam Plus standard and the first China's three-star green building standard in Hong Kong. In existing estates, we have been promoting energy-saving practices and water conservation. The amount of household waste has been decreasing because we have schemes that promote source separation of domestic waste and recycling of aluminium, waste paper, plastic bottles, glass bottles, used clothes, and more recently, food waste. The collected domestic waste can be recycled. In partnership with contractors and green groups, we've been organizing a series of long-term programs to engage our residents and students of nearby schools with an aim to promote green awareness and to instill a green culture. As for a green workplace, we have various green initiatives to promote green awareness among staff, to cut down on electricity, water, and paper consumption, and to reduce our carbon footprint. For the past 60 years, the Hong Kong Housing Authority has been providing homes for the needy, and we strive to excel. We are not only providing shelters, we are creating a community that is healthy, pleasant and sustainable. This is our responsibility in this green era. We care for the environment and we care for the people. Together, we build a sustainable and harmonious community.